When I was three years old, the second Gulf War broke out in Israel, and we were terrified that Saddam Hussein is gonna shoot mustard gas at us. But what about the Palestinians? Can I finish my, I'm just talking about how I, how I got shot with rockets. What about the Palestinians? What do you mean we're not real Jew Israel? Like tried to say he tried what we spoke about in the book. This land that's like not yeah. like New York. Yeah. 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 People are dying. Yeah. It's not no joke. Uh, but listen, I mean, so I my uh, hand hand. Hand. just no, just be quiet. Leave him alone. Let me explain to you why we're joking about this. I don't know how you grew up. I don't know what happened to you in your life, but I I grew up in a war. And then I went to Germany and I grew up in a village where I got chased down by Nazis every week. So I do comedy to deal with that. I do comedy about tr things that are so tragic that the only way for me to deal with them is laugh or go insane. I have a right on that. Same way as you have a right to make jokes about your own tragedies. This is Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Shalom Akim, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rukha Pardash, double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David will be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the one third of Yahshua Ralem, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. So at the video you just watched, you basically, we seen Amalek, right? Amalek being the so-called Jews, right? Over in the land of Israel today, uh, that's their biblical name, right? But realistically, they're, uh, biblically they're known as the Edomites, right? And of the Edomites, they're referred to as Amalek, right? The top tribe of, of uh, Edom. Now, like you just seen in this video, this was a, a comedy show, right? I'm, I'm not sure where it was. I'm guessing it was over in Europe, probably someplace. But either way, it didn't seem like it was uh, in the States, right? Uh, the one guy in the, in the crowd who actually came out and told Amalek that was on stage that you know, uh, you know he brought up the whole Palestine debacle, right? And if you're not, uh, if you're not aware of what that means, uh, Palestine is uh, basically this. This is the, the green part is talking about all the Arabs or Ishmaelites, right, as they're biblically known, or uh, so-called Palestinians who used to inhabit this land before it was taken over by Edom, right, the so-called Jews or uh, the Malachites, also known as Edomites, uh, basically Edom gifted this land into their own hands. And if you look at the Bible timeline, right? Let's go to the Bible timeline. This is this happened during uh, World War II, or after World War One, excuse me. Uh, you had um, something known as the Balfour, Balfour Declaration, right? Let's read it here. It says the Declaration was issued by the British governor during. Uh, World War I declaring the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine, then an Ottoman region with the minority Jewish population. Now, uh, like I said here, right, the Ottoman Empire was, is, is a, it, it came from the uh, Ottoman Empire that, that, uh, which was made up of Ishmael, Arabs, and so-called Edomites, okay? And they dwelt in that land and they took over it, okay? Uh, and what happened is, eventually that land fell into Britain's control after World War I. And then, so what happened is, this guy here, uh, Roth, the Rothschild, right? Uh, who this letter was written to from, this is, this is uh, Alfred um, Balfour, I believe his name, right? He actually was the ex-prime minister of England who eventually became a governor afterwards, but he ultimately was, was bought by the money powers um, and in during World War II, uh, before World War, I'm sorry, before World War II broke out and the Nazis took over Germany, right? Hitler was in power. He had started to come up. He had started to initiate all these um, new political um, policies. One thing that he did is that he socialized all the banks. Uh, one of these banks or the series of banks belonged to this guy here. The, um, I forgot his name. He was a 
Rob, Nicholas Rothschild, or he was one of the Rothschilds, right? And he was also imprisoned in Germany. Well, eventually, the you know his connections in Britain, uh, Balfour and other people that he knew of, um, and ultimately it was I think it was the um, was it, it wasn't I think it was the print, prince or or um, one of the somebody connected in the royal family actually um, requested from Hitler to release the, the this Rothschild guy. He eventually got released. He went to Britain, but this whole time uh, this Rothschild was basically. Um, lobbying to get, uh, you know, to have the uh, Britons and also the Americans go to war with, with uh, Hitler, right? It's all part of uh, Amalek's scheme. But the point being is that through legislation, uh, this guy here, Alfred Balfour, got it passed and basically declared through the Balfour Declaration, which is an image here, that the, that the British-controlled land of Palestine would be divided up. Okay, divided up and, and made into a so-called home for the Jewish people. Now again, the Jewish people is a made-up people, right? Like the like the guy in the crowd said, they are the thirteenth tribe, right? Knowing, uh, basically referring to um, the the book by author Closer, uh, Closer um, talking about that if Jewish people were in fact uh, the of the tribe of Israel, there would have to be a thirteenth tribe, because they uh, there's they don't exist in, in the in the uh, original twelve tribes, right? And when you get into it, it's been proven that these people, right, the majority of the so-called Jews in the land of, of of Israel today, they descend from the Khazarians, right, of the land of Khazaria, which basically was was right, you know, right below right above the Caucasus Mountains, right? This is where Edom, around 200 or 400 AD, uh, I'm sorry, BC, I'm sorry, 200 or 400 AD, fled up to the Caucasus Mountains and, and stayed there, right? Well, um, Amalek, the top tribe of Edom, eventually conquered the northern part of the Caucasus Mountains, spread out and became known as the, the Khazars, Khazik, you know, and then eventually would be referred to as the Ashkenazi. So, but they eventually were destroyed by the Kivian Rush, right? The, which are the, the progenitors for the Russians today, okay? And as you can see, um, Khazaria was surrounded by Orthodox Christianity and also Islam, right? Uh, right here, this is the Ottoman Empire that was coming up and stuff, right? But again, that's, that's what this guy uh, was was a uh, you know basically being uh, told you know was being told is that you know uh, when he tried to come up with some sympathy people are tired of Amalek's um, you know his his sob story right like oh you know poor us we're getting rockets thrown at us when the whole world sees that when they get bombed by dumb rockets right because they don't have like smart rocket technology they're just basically just randomly shooting rockets into this land uh, the land of Israel right and hitting people right people see how Israel comes back, uh, you know, <laughs> bombs the shit out of these Palestinians and through time uh, have taken over the land over and over again, right? They basically went into the land as, you know, refugees and eventually ended up taking it over, right? And it all happened uh, right away, right? 19, uh, 1947, uh, you could just see how everything was, was uh, divided up and then eventually 20 years later, they took over this land and when you look at 2020, look at the, and it's even less than this now, right? And when you look at the, the videos and, and the way that the Palestinians, you know, um, are treated, which, you know, by the way, Ishmael shouldn't even be in this land, right? It's not even his land, right? This is land belongs to the Israelites, us Negro, Latino, Native Americans. This is our homeland, but we're not going to be given this land until the Lord comes back and puts us in this land again. And that is another thing that proves that these Israelis, right, this comedian, these aren't the people, right? Because they put themselves in that land by their own hand, by their own trickery of bureaucracy and, and, and legislation and all that type of stuff, right? This is why the world is still at war. There's no peace in that land. And the thing is, is now people are starting to rise up against them, which is why the scriptures say that the Lord has made Esau bare, right? Because Edom, the so-called Caucasians, including these Jewish people, because again, they're, they are simply just Caucasians that pretend to be of a different race, but they're the exact same people, which is why they look exactly like 
you're, you're American Caucasians, you're, you're English Caucasians, you're Australian Caucasians. They look exactly the same because they are the same people, okay? Now, that being said, let's watch this. You're on the region. You're on the region. What is it? Against the Prime Minister of Israel. Yeah, for Gaza. You're for Gaza, the Gaza Strip? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, against the state of Israel at all. Are you, are you, you said you're for Gaza? Yes, we are against the state of Israel. Are, are you, yes. You're against the state of Israel? Yes, we believe, the Jewish believe is against the state of Israel. Are you for the real return of uh, the real children of Israel? We believe that all Israel need to be returned to the Palestinian. Do you, do you know that the black man in America is Israel? That he's Jews? Do you know that? Yes, you, yes, you, yes. So you see that? You even have Amalek here saying that they are, that these so-called Negroes are the real Jews, right? And again, it's not only them that say this, right? There's there's plenty of videos, which I'm not gonna go into. We've all uh, have seen this before, right? Seen these videos showing that the truth is starting to come out, that um, that uh, that these people are not the, the people of the Bible, okay? And, and again, this was prophesied in the Bible that this would happen, right? This is Ezekiel 36 and two. Thus saith Yahweh, our power, because the enemy hath said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession, right? And that's funny, right? Because when uh, you understand like the, the, uh, the, uh, how can I put it? The, the accents of these Amalek, you know, the so-called Jewish people, don't they say, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, right? Look at that. Right, so it's funny, right? But the point being is that this prophecy is playing out now, right? These people have have basically given this land into their own hands. Okay, this is a uh, jumping down of verse five says, "Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, our power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart." And see, so there you go. So these people here, they don't fit the prophecies of the Israelites. They fit the prophecies of Amalek, of Edom. Because why? Well, because they are Edom. These are the, the wicked that the Bible speak of. Okay? And what's happening now, right, with that guy in the crowd calling the, this uh, this Amalekite out and not caring uh, that he was giving his sob story. And, you know, when Amalek was there trying to divert from the convert you know the the statements that were made because one he did, they probably don't even know they, they really probably in their heart think that they are the real people but you know at, you know eventually this truth is going to get so far out that they're going to get you know they're going to have to answer right they're going to have to answer and try to explain why they don't fit the prophecies why don't you know why are these other people that do fit the prophecies saying that they're the israelites and eventually they're not going to be able to answer and then that's when the whole world is going to uh, start to, to question things. And again, you're starting to see the world is now starting to question what you're seeing, right? And again, this is all part of the Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline are starting to stand up and wake up, fulfilling this prophecy, Revelations 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life of God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them right and this is talking about uh how after 350 years you know give or take that uh, of, uh, of us being in hard bondage the negro latino native americans would eventually we would remember ourselves as it tells you in baruch chapter 2 i believe right it says in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves well that's what's happening now right the lord has now you know put the the, the truth of the bible right the, the spirit of life Right, which is also the breath of life, which is again the Holy Spirit, which again is the understanding, the truth of the Bible. He's put it back into, you know, us, his people, right? And because of that, we're now waking up from the spiritual sleep, right? The spiritual dead state that we were in, and we're now starting to stand upon our feet. Not saying that we're literally standing up, but that spiritually we're starting to stand up. We're starting to claim who we were. We're trying to, you know, we're now we're starting to claim 
our heritage back, right? Which is rightfully ours, right? And these devils can't do anything about it because again, as we stand up, we make these declarations, we go out to the highways and byways and make these videos and put it out. You know, at first it's gonna be, a, it's, it's a joke, right? We've been seeing lots of people out there trying to make fun of this movement, you know, and it's, it's on comedy shows. It's, you know, we get, um, we get derided, you know, from all these people who, who try to come up against this. But the thing is, is that the truth, you know, eventually stands, right? The, well, what is it in the, I think it's in uh, first Ezra talks about what is more powerful, the, the king, the, wo the woman or, or the truth, you know, the thing is, or I'm sorry, the king, the woman or, or wine. And then eventually Zerubbabel, right? The, the de facto ruler of Israel during that time, he comes out and says, you know what? The, the, the biggest strength is ultimately the truth. Right? Because truth standeth. And that's ultimately what's going on right now. The truth is standing up. Right? And it's declaring that the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are the Israelites. This is why you see so many people coming out and standing up for truth. Right? They're coming out, you know, and, and at a, a show, at a comedy show, you know, they're even throwing it at Amalek's face. Right? And, and it's, a, it's at a venue where this thing really even isn't even supposed to be talked at. But because the Lord has made Esau bear... Uh, these these Edomites can't hide themselves. They can't hide behind their sad stories. The oh look at you know woe is me spirits. No, nobody cares about that shit, right? And they try to and they have to divert. And basically, you had all these people there who didn't really understand what was going on, telling that guy to shut up. And you know, but the thing is, is pretty soon this truth is going to get to the point where you're already starting to see what they're trying to do. They're going to try to silence this truth, right? Over in Ireland. You could be jailed or fined for speaking non-mainstream media news, right? They're trying to, the EU is now uh, with its, you know, UN powers that have been, you know, usurped by them are trying to bring those um, authoritarian uh, laws of, of, you know, to, to quell free speech upon the whole internet, right? You're also starting to see um, hate speech is being made more of a common term here. Uh, in, in America, right? And they're going after supposed white supremacists, which really is only the government going after the, the so-called patriots, the people who would basically stand up or who would be more likely to stand up to the government, right? Which is why they're being targeted, right? It has nothing to do about white people saying they're the best, right? Even though, the, you know, they do think that. Um, it has nothing to do with that. But what it is, is that these people who would tend to, would be labeled so-called white supremacists, would generally be the people who would stand up and go against the government during uh, the you know the time of, of of a coup, which is what's currently happening in this government or this you know America right now, right? And this is why you have weird situations where you have a Hispanic, right, an Israelite being declared as a white supremacist when he's clearly not a white person, right? Because his what's happening is his his views and everything were anti-government. Okay, this is simply the government coming after the people before the people come after the government type of thing, right? But again, that's a whole other uh, story. But yeah, so back to this, man. These Edomites, you know, especially those in power, they're seeing that us Israelites, we're waking up, we're standing upon our feet, and fear is, is falling upon them, right? This is hence why they're making these anti-hate speech laws. They're, you know, trying to stop free speech on the internet. And like the Akim had been saying, right, pretty soon, they're going to more likely shut down the internet, right? You, this is why you've been seeing cyber attack warnings and all these type of things. And, and like I've said it before, man, they're going to take, they're more likely going to take down the internet as we know it. And what's going to come up in its place is going to be something that's locked down. You're going to need some sort of ID to get onto it like it's done over in China and now Australia. And pretty soon it's going to be worldwide. This is Jeremiah 16 and 19. Oh, Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Right? And that's ultimately what we're going to come up to, right? Because this truth is going to get so overly uh, you know, pushed out in the world where it's going to be common knowledge that the true Israelites, the true people of the Bible, are in fact the Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Right, and and what that's gonna do is that it means that if we're the true Israelites, then the people who've been saying they were the true Israelites can't be the true Israelites, right? Now, like Apostle Tahar says, you know, 
Are some of them, some of those so-called Jewish people Israelites? Definitely. The scriptures say that there's going to be Israelites coming out of every nation, right? So there's going to be a small percentage of Israelites coming out of the, the so-called Jewish people, but the vast majority of them do not uh, belong there, right? They're even under their own, you know, um, faux science of DNA. They show that their ancestry goes back to the the Ashkenazi, right? Which have no ties to the biblical Israelites, okay? So I just wanted to bring this out. Okay, I wanted to show you that Esau is, is starting to run out of places to hide and he's being heckled, you know, in, in venues, which this really isn't even supposed to be a topic, but hey, the truth is being stirred up and it's, being, and it's coming out and it's falling upon Esau's head. So hopefully this video was edifying. I'll keep telling next time. I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhok, Radash, double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.